This is a video about the audio gain matrix inside uh, Ovation. Um, there is the mixer, which obviously is used to take individual sounds, sum them together into various outputs. But what's needed in a cue sequencer as well is a simple way to be able to take a stereo sound and distribute it across multiple potential outputs. So if we look at the Ovation mixer here, uh, just think about this as output 1, output 2, output 3, output 4. And we can see that this is the case we can set our direct outs. So I'm just going to select all of my strips and set the direct outs to on. So what this now has is it gives me a separate physical output for each each channel. Um, each channel. So that one will feed to output one, output two, output three, output four. And this then becomes more of a headphone mix for me. Yeah. So to be able to do this, we need to see what we get in the initial first. So start the show here, I get Sea Wash, and the Sea Wash plays out of output one and two. Fine. If I want to, I can, let me just put that down there. If I want to, I can change the output slot, so I can start it on output slot three, and then play it back, and I get it on outputs three and four, or five, and change to output slots five and six. But it's still just a stereo piece of information going to two outputs. So what I can additionally do, let me just put this back to one, is I can use our audio gain matrix. So if I pop this open and just give it a bit of size, click on one here, I get the view of the clip or the cue that I'm working with, and I get some controls. So first off, I've got a gain. It's just a, it's just a handy little gain. And again, I've got a replication of that output slot. So I can choose the output slot or I can just type in which one I want, yeah? But I've also got an additional control here, matrix size. So I'm just gonna choose a matrix, a six-way matrix, bingo. So now what I can see is I've got my stereo inputs here, but they're feeding into a potential of six outputs. And we can see that those six outputs start on slot three. I can change it to slot one, it goes one to six. So now what I can do is I can dial individual bits of information into various outputs. And now when I play it, you'll see that I get it through a number of outputs. So this is a very handy way to be able to dial a sound into uh, a set of speaker outputs without having to use the mixer for summing buses and stuff. There's various different reasons why we'll, we'll use the mixer instead, uh, which we'll look at uh, when we're looking at configuring the mixer itself. Um, within the matrix, we can do simple grouping. So if I hold down shift, I can create groups. Voila. These groups are independent of, of each queue. So, so each queue can hold its own matrix of its own size with its own groups in it. Yeah. Um, so for instance, I can go to this queue here. I can make a matrix of nine, uh, started on slot four, and again, dial the information in as I'd want to. Double click to go to zero or double click back to off. Very handy. So there's the audio gain matrix and why we'd like to use it.